Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I'm back once again this week to show off something completely brand new. A ukulele brand that Rob and I have been looking over for about a year now and I think it's safe to say that we're the first in Europe to have this ukulele brand and one of only two dealers that I can find in the whole of North America to stock this ukulele brand. I'm talking about Owlcraft ukuleles. Now, Alcraft ukuleles are an interesting story. They are a three-man, sorry, two-man and one-woman team of designers and builders that come up with custom shop and production-run instruments. You have Jun Tae, who is the master builder at the company, who's worked under um, several Japanese manufacturers in the past, uh, Tease Guitars, and he worked under Shinji Takahashi, who some of you may remember from the Seren ukulele that we had in stock last year. His wife, Seyun, does all of the design work. So all of those wonderful uh, mixing bowl of cool designs are dreamed up by Seyun with their customers and then built by Jung Tae and his brother Hyun Tae. Although I can't pronounce Hyun Tae's name, he calls himself Ted on their website, so if I mention him again I'm going to call him Ted. Now, the first two ukuleles we're going to look at today are the production run instruments. We're going to look at the Sol and the Dao Beat. These are the more affordable factory made instruments, but they still are absolutely world class. Price wise, they compete very nicely with the Cunnelair K1, the Rebels, Koaloas of this world. And it's hard to question the quality of these instruments side by side. Hopefully, if we continue to have regular stock of these throughout the year, I can do comparison videos against other brands. But for now, we're going to start with the Soul ukulele and eventually work our way around to this custom shop beauty which is probably why half of you clicked on the video because wow wow what we were i don't know what else to say so this is the last ukulele we're going to look at today if you want to just skip ahead and look at the last ukulele that's fine you can skip ahead to the time below now but otherwise we're going to take a look through the whole range of five here starting with the soul concert let's begin okay now the first ukulele we'll look at today is the owlcraft Soul Concert. Now the Alcraft Soul Concert is the introductory model from this brand. This has a solid Engelmann spruce top with solid Honduran mahogany back and sides. It has a Spanish cedar neck which is very cool because the wood grain differs so much from the mahogany but aesthetically they look great together. It has a rosewood fingerboard and bridge with a bone nut and saddle and a 36 mil nut. The tuners are Goto, which are these really cool, fat, open gear tuners, but they don't really weigh anything. And yeah, this is an understated looking model, much the same as the Rebel uh, Cheesecake. Do I have one out I can show? No. Much the same as the Rebel Cheesecake model. Spruce and mahogany should never, ever be underestimated because it can do anything. If you want to play soft, you can use spruce. If you play, want to play hard, if you want to be heard over a crowd, spruce is your guy. The mahogany back and sides are a great launching point as well because they warm things up a tiny bit. And the result here is a really accomplished looking concert, a really accomplished sounding concert that just rings out. It's never distorted, it's just pleasing on the ear. Now, the Soul model has these custom inlays which are the moon in various states of I want to say undress because my mind is filthy, but you know what I mean. It's the, it's the moon as it goes down or as it's covered up and eclipsed. And you have this really cool inlay here on the body, which replaces a sound hole rosette. You do have side dots for those that are going to ask, because we find that a lot of people ask that on concerts. But yeah, at around the £900 mark, this ukulele is refined. It's right up there with the Rebels and the Koaloas of this world. And if you were looking previously at maybe a cheesecake or a double cheese or perhaps even the um, Opio uh, spruce top ukuleles, then take a look at this as well because it, it's going to blow your mind. Owlcraft is the future. It's where it's at and I'm really excited to show it to you. I'm going to leave it to play and see what you think.
OK, and the second ukulele we're going to look at today, once again, quite understated on the front. But on the back and sides, you have some gorgeous Hawaiian colour. Now, this is the Dalbert model. The Dalbert model is the upgraded model from the Soul concert that we've just seen. This is a tenor size ukulele with an Engelmann spruce top. Solid Hawaiian colour back and sides. You still have a Spanish cedar neck, but the fingerboard has been upgraded from rosewood to ebony, as has the bridge. Despite being a tenor, this has a 36mm nut width, not a 38mm nut width for a 37 like most of the instruments at this price. You still have those gorgeous Goto tuners and uh, bone nut and saddle. And really, I can't say enough good things about these instruments. Sometimes when I make these videos, I worry that I'm exceeding, uh, I'm talking about things in a way that will, ex it will elevate people's expectations to a point that they can't come back down to earth. But actually, the ukulele that this reminds me of most is the Kanalea KS DLX, which was about £2,000 when it was in production. And this ukulele, to me, although cosmetically it's a tiny bit plainer, sound-wise, feel-wise, quality-wise, it's right up there. What I'm trying to say is that this ukulele should be £2,000, it's not. It's not a cheap ukulele. This will set you back about the same as a good K1 with premium wood, um, by Canala and or, or a Colo or KCM00. There's, there's plenty of options there around the thousand pound price point these days, but very few with a 36 mil nut and very few with such a clean gloss finish that it just rings. You know, the, fi the finish is so light, it doesn't really feel like a gloss finish. <laughs> I mean, what a compliment, hey? Uh, you also have a maple binding around the top which needs to be talked about because I've not seen maple and koa go together before and it's, it's just beautiful. Look, I'm going to give the Dalbert a play, I hope you like it. Okay, now we're going to move on now to the first two custom ukuleles that we have made by Alcraft. This is number 52 and number 53. A twin pair of ukuleles with very specific in, uh, classical guitar inspired specs. These ukuleles have a western red cedar top with Indian rosewood back and sides. Now, it's become less and less frequent in recent years to see rosewood back and sides on instruments. And when you do, it's not cheap. Solid rosewood for the last few years has been incredibly difficult to export or import without licenses. And although the CITES laws have relaxed, rosewood is still not seen as the easiest wood to use if you're a manufacturer, because you don't really know when your rosewood is gonna require permits again. And there's always that element of doubt. Alcraft are willing to work with us on some rosewood models. This cedar and rosewood model is inspired by classical guitars that uh, I used to play as a kid. I emailed Alcraft and I explained, you know, I just wish that you saw more cedar and rosewood combinations for ukulele. You see lots of cedar with laminate, pretty laminate back and sides, but just the real McCoy solid wood models are few and far between. So they made us a twin pair of concert antennas. Both of these ukuleles have the stealth style 
tuners on them with very, very slender headstocks. This is very similar to the Canalea headstock with a 36mm nut, ebony fingerboard and bridge, bone nut and saddle. And let's just talk about these custom inlays for a moment. I'm going to do a zoom in so you can see. So these custom inlays are Paduk with white mother of pearl and turquoise. And these were the custom shop designs uh, put together by Seiyun. I mean, they are beautiful and they shouldn't be replicated again. This should be something that's exclusive to this custom shop ukulele. And hey, you know, if you were gonna get the brother and sister pair of ukuleles, what, what better pair to get than two that are one of a kind, but twins together. So let's just take a closer look at the tenor for a second. So the tenor also has that Western Red Cedar top. Both of these ukuleles have Paduk binding on the front and back to match the sound hole rosette. And you have white mother of pearl dots going up the fingerboard. Yeah, I was really excited to get these and show them off. And I can tell you now that when we took them out of the box for the first time, yesterday, Rob and I, we basically just hugged and we were not disappointed. It's so, so refreshing to get something brand new and for it to really elevate your opinion of what the ukulele is capable of. One thing to note, and one thing that makes these custom shop ukuleles special, is uh, that Alcraft and specifically the master builder Jung Tae are members of the Ukulele Guild of Hawaii. So once a year, Alcraft go over to Hawaii and they work with other builders and they work together to find and share techniques to improve the, the manufacturing of ukuleles. That's why you're seeing such modern design elements and such modern building techniques. You know, these stealth tuners, Canalea were the first to use them, but seeing somebody else use them and incorporate them in their own way is just great. So this is number 52 and number 53. I'm going to give them a play now and see what you guys think. Okay, now the final ukulele of the day is the ukulele that I'm sure many of you have skipped ahead to see. This is Owlcraft Custom Shop number 54. And this ukulele, we threw everything at the spec on this ukulele and we just told Owlcraft to just show us what you're made of, show us what, what you love to do. And the result is this absolutely just astounding ukulele that reminds me of so many other things and yet feels so unique. First of all, it reminds us of a Mike De Silva ukulele with this quilted maple dyed blue back and sides. But the ukulele also has quilted maple binding and 
this extended wrap around rosette with the quilted maple as well. The whole thing is just so aesthetically pleasing if you like blue, which I do. I love the Smurfs growing up. And right now as an adult, I feel like this ukulele is so much more than a ukulele to me. It's just amazing. I feel like saying you can't have it. The back on this is a blue dyed maple cap. And the top, much like the models we were looking at before, is a really nice piece of Engelmann spruce. Really straight grained, we requested that. Something that's just a cannon, something that projects. Because maple does something quite interesting with the sound. It tends to, it tends to warm things up, it tends to give it a bit of a glow. Uh, something that's really hard to describe in a video and hopefully comes across in the audio samples we're gonna do for you in a moment. But this Engelmann spruce top is loud, it's vibrant, it's punchy, it's confident. And then what the maple does is it, it takes some of those vibrant, slightly distorted tones and it just mel mellows them, it nullifies things. It's fantastic. But if that wasn't enough, we also requested the side sound port, which is this perfectly circular sound port here. And when you look inside the ukulele, it's just, just beautiful inside as well. I could spend days looking at this, this instrument and I don't think I'd ever get bored. Once again, you have a Spanish cedar neck with the racing stripe up the back and you have that stealth tuner slim headstock design with a slight, slight dip at the back of the neck just for your hand to find the first position. Ebony fingerboard and bridge, 36 mil nut. And the neck profile on this is just ever so slightly slightly flat on the back with a kind of thin profile, it's not too chunky. Someone's gonna be really happy with this ukulele. So let's give number 54 a play and see what you think. So I really hope you guys like Owlcraft ukuleles. Please do get in touch with any questions. We will be getting more deliveries of these throughout the year. I've just ordered this instrument uh, once again in a different uh, colour. I, I won't reveal the colour yet, but look out for that in a few months' time. But yeah, we're absolutely blown away by these. If you have any questions, you can email me at alex at ukulele.co.uk. You can call me in store on 01202 430820. Uh, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel and share with all your friends and I'll see you next week.